Hello, my name's Adrian Richards. I'm a, a consultant, plastic and cosmetic surgeon, and I'm the surgical director of Aurora Clinics, which is based in the UK. So today I'm going to be talking about a condition um, I often see and see increasingly uh, nowadays uh, in the breast, which is called a double bubble effect. Okay, what's this caused by? Well, it's really caused by the implant being too high and the breast tissue being low. And what that gives you is a bulge from the breast implant at the top, and then you go in slightly, and then the breast itself is below this. So the double bubble is out because of the implant up high, in a little bit, and then out because of the breast. And it's really because the breast implant isn't acting, it's not in the same place as the breast tissue. Okay. So if an implant is placed in front of the muscle, it tends to move with gravity with the uh, breast tissue. So you don't get double bubble effect. If the implant is placed behind the muscle, and this is normally done on people that are very slim because you need that extra coverage on the implant, and I've talked about this in other um, videos. So if the implant is placed behind the muscle, the muscle can hold the implant up. So it holds it in a high position. Okay? Now, normally that's fine initially when the breasts are quite pert, um, but if after pregnancy, weight loss, um, if anything happens to the breast, even just with gravity, the uh, implant goes down, the, the, actually, sorry, the breast goes down. So then you sort of got a dichotomy. Implant high, breast tissue low, which gives you the double bubble effect, which can be quite um, uh, unattractive. So what are the options if you've got a double bubble? Well, the options are either to bring the implant down to the level of the uh, nipple, or to bring the nipple up to the level of the implant, or a combination of both. So let's just run through that. So. You can move the breast implant from a, under the muscle position where it's held up in front of the muscle where it will go down and become part of the breast. And that's quite an effective uh, uh, procedure, particularly if people want a sort of natural, soft breast appearance. Okay, so quite a quick recovery, quite simple to do. Um, the other main option is to leave the implant in the submuscular position and bring the nipple up to the position of the implant. Um, and that's done with a mastopexy type technique, making a new hole for the nipple. The nipple isn't taken completely off, it's just cut around and raised, and then tightening the lower part of the skin. Okay, So you can have a combination of that. Some people may elect to change the size of their implant, the location of their implant, and have an uplift. So there's combinations, or, as I mentioned, bring, bring the implant down to become part of the breast or bring the breast up to, um, to be in the central position where the, uh, over where the implant is held under the muscle. So it's a complex problem and um, I'm seeing more and more of uh, people uh, with, with this uh, as time goes by um, and I think it's very important to understand your options very clearly um, before making any decision to go ahead. So if you would like uh, any further information about this or uh, if you'd like to arrange a consultation, talk to one of our surgeons. Please contact us either via email, contacting the uh, website or by phoning us on a UK number 01844 214 362. Thank you very much for listening.